Annual sports franchises such as Madden and FIFA just continue to keep coming year after year, for better or worse, while some other sports series have dwindled or died off entirely. One of the sports franchises that has been in questionable territory for quite some time now has been the PGA Tour series that was once held by EA Sports. After moving on from Tiger Woods' scandals all those years ago, they did attempt to continue the franchise before leaving it behind entirely. This is where developer HB Studios stepped in to fill that void with the Golf Club, a respectable golf simulator that had been released when nothing else was there for golf fans. A team up between HB Studios and 2K Sports, instead of keeping the Golf Club name, they instead decided to rebrand the game and call it PGA Tour 2K21. But make no mistake about it, this, for those familiar with those The Golf Club games, this one will feel very, very familiar. While there are plenty of your favorite golfers from the PGA Tour included in 2K21, you aren't actually playing as any of them in the game. Instead, the focus is placed on you controlling your own created golfer through the game's My Player character creator. You pick all of the specifics, the looks of your character, what they're wearing, and more. While there are no LPGA golfers in the game, you can create a female golfer if you prefer. Alongside how they look, you'll get to decide what they're wearing as well in a number of different categories and brands like Adidas, Callaway, and many more. As you would expect from a 2K sports game, there is some grinding for these cosmetic items as they are unlocked via virtual currency, though there are many that are unlocked through progression. Modes are sparse in 2K21, but the main attraction is the PGA Tour Career Mode. PGA Tour Career is about what you would expect from a less ambitious version of a modern sports game's career mode. It sticks mostly to the basics, playing it close to the chest, and not focusing on the minutia in the life of being a pro athlete, as so many of sports games have done in recent memory. Your main goal is on the tour itself, trying to win tournaments and score points in the FedEx Cup. On the tour, as you make your way up the ladder, you'll also be competing with rivals, which feels like it could have been fleshed out a little bit more. The PGA Tour career mode is straight golf against the AI. For those that would prefer a more personal rivalry, you can take that game online to face off in live competition. Basic modes allow you to match make with random players or create private matches for when you want to play against friends. PGA Tour 2K21 is definitely trying to fill a void here, and they do so by leaning in hard on the simulation side of the game. If you're looking for something that plays like those older Tiger Woods games with exploding drives and whatnot, you're going to be disappointed by both the complexity of the controls and systems here. If you get into trouble though, the game can be pretty forgiving. However, and it shouldn't take you too long to get used to it. Before you know it, you'll be hitting birdies left and right. The gameplay itself in 2K21 is pretty simplistic on the surface, but you can definitely get more technical the further you dig in. You can pick from your club of choice at any time, with the default choice usually being the best one for the situation. From there, you can press Y to go in overhead view that will show you the general area and where your ball should land based on your club and distance settings. You can adjust things like fade and loft, which can really make or break some of your shot. And once it's ready, all you have to do is pull back on the right analog stick and then flick it forward in the straightest motion possible. It's easier said than done, and it does take some time to get that perfect motion. But once you do get in a rhythm with it, shots feel good. Once you get to the green, things change slightly as it's time to pull out your putter and try to get the ball in the hole. You have the aforementioned tools at your disposal here as well, but the act of putting is a little bit different, with greens varying in slopes and shapes. There are some extra tools that can help you out. You can see a preview of the ball path by pressing and holding a button and then make any adjustments to the left, right, forward, and back to sync it. While some people may find the difficulty just right, there are definitely those that might find it a little bit too easy or maybe too difficult when it comes to making the cut on the PGA Tour. The good news is that the game features a number of different difficulty options for you to tweak. You can just pick between the difficulties themselves like beginner, pro-am, or legend, or you can pick individual settings like disabling your swing timing if you're struggling too much with hooking or slicing your shots. Those coming into PGA Tour expecting to be able to play all of the top golf courses in the world are definitely going to need to temper their expectations, but that is not to say there aren't a quality collection of courses to choose from here. Compared to that last game from EA, new courses being added would be a logical form of post-release content, so 
perhaps we will see that. The courses themselves are beautiful, and they aren't just random courses with names slapped on them, but rather have been scanned and are completely representative of their real life counterpart. The only real blemishes that you can see are in the trees and obstacles in them that can feel a little low resolution or plain at times. The overall presentation is clean on the visual front with a audio profile to match. Think of a relaxing television broadcast in terms of the tone of the game, and you've got an idea of what to expect here. The play-by-play -play commentators are also quite enjoyable as well, with commentary that feels varied, and the crew definitely gets into tangents quite frequently that break up the monotony of a golf tournament. The golf club games did have a niche following, but there's no question that the rebranding with PGA 2K21 will increase the reach of the game. It's not just a partnership with 2K that will make this the de facto golf simulator though. There's some good stuff in here as well. The customizable difficulties make the game pretty approachable for all kinds of players. At the same time, you can hold against it the lack of content and modes. Ultimately though, a solid roster of courses and enjoyable gameplay itself in PGA Tour 2K21 is enough to make this a good start and that can hopefully be improved upon in the coming years as the first game in this newly rebranded series. PGA Tour 2K21 struggles with being a little bare bones in some areas, but it's undeniable that a solid foundation has been set for a future where 2K Sports is the best place to get your virtual golfing fix.